I left a comment. I'm not going to read it all. That keeps happening. When you say something on the internet, it can be very difficult to know how someone else is going to read what you have written. Because text is a medium that strips a large amount of critical context. Most human communication is non-verbal. Your body language isn't there, but even your intonation, the way you deliver your words, it's gone when you do it by text. The reason I'm bringing this up is that I said some things in an article that while the way that I meant it, they were fine, someone else took it a little differently. I made a post on which I received this uh, arguably mean comment. It wasn't in that way that people usually leave mean comments on the internet. Um, the, it, English may not be their first language or I, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna read it to you. It was on an article I posted on the Gazing Cat Productions blog. That article is called YouTube video experts don't understand why... Why doesn't it show me the whole title? Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Uh, yeah. Clearly, I'm very well prepared. YouTube video experts don't understand why flat and log footage on 8-bit cameras is a bad idea. The entire purpose of that post on my Gazing Cat blog was to explain why 8-bit footage that's shot with alternative gammas or with crushed contrast or saturation is a bad idea. A lot of YouTube people make videos as experts claiming certain things and they mislead people. It bothers me when these so-called experts are on YouTube pushing flat and log profiles for people who have cheap 8-bit cameras and just don't understand that you can't do that with an 8-bit camera without hurting your footage. So my concern is people being misled by this advice. It's one of those things where in certain situations they might be right, but you have to have the hardware that can put out the results to make it happen. So um, this guy read it a little differently. Um, I'll read you his comment now. Looks like some drooling guy is trying his best to prevent people from shooting good videos with phones. What went wrong, buddy? Mad because some phone kid shots better than your DS, D, DLSR, DSLR, but I think it's backwards. Funny how you take videos with just a LUT thrown on them. The first link in the article is to a video I made on my personal channel and blog called Why Flat Log and LUTs All Suck. So I don't know where he's getting that. So I'm not sure exactly what prompted this comment and I have yet to get a reply. But in the video, um, basically I talk about a program on the iPhone called Filmic Pro. Sorry for the crappy mic quality, but we're going to try and correct this uh, Filmic Log V2 stuff. This natural here that's dark. I've pre-selected this left half of the frame of the screenshot and in Irfan view if we go over here to gamma correction and bump it up to about 1.55 oh oh well other than a pixel it looks like I missed you really couldn't tell that those are a different picture other than the parts that move like the clouds yeah, funny how that works, isn't it? Huh. So all that the filmic log stuff is doing is bumping up the gamma. It, it, it may not even be proper log gamma. It may just be that it boosts the midtones on a curve. That's... That's precious. Okay. And it supposedly lets you apply log 
gamma to, you know, you get log gamma footage instead of regular. And iPhones are 8-bit. There, there's no two ways around it. A phone is not a very good camera. Even an iPhone with very good sensors and optics and such, it's an extremely limited camera system. You can only get so much out of it, and log isn't going to get more out of it, and if anything, it damages your footage because it's still an 8-bit camera. So I talk about how the application is snake oil as far as the whole log thing because it doesn't actually help you even though that's what they claim to do. So apparently somehow he got that I'm anti-phone videography out of that, which is not the case at all. In fact, I corrected him in my response saying that if some kid can shoot better video with his phone than I can with a DSLR, then I want to know how he did it so that not only me, but everyone else could start doing that too and produce better video. I have nothing against using a phone as a way to make a video. He read that into this somehow. And I must be clear about that. I have used phones to make videos. They weren't good, but they were. You use what you have at hand. There's nothing wrong with using a phone or a camcorder or a DSLR, whatever you have. But the bottom line is that my intentions were not read properly. And while it's tempting to place the blame at the foot of the guy who left the nasty comment saying that I'm jealous of some kid with an iPhone because I, all I do is slap a LUT on, still don't know where he got that from. The point is that at least a little bit of the blame could probably be laid at my own feet because it's important to state your intentions clearly. And I probably did not do that. I may go back and edit my article to do that more clearly. It's, uh, it's especially important with criticism to remember that when you criticize, feelings can be hurt um, in surprising, surprisingly misunderstood too ways. I think I will go back and edit that and add a little bit of cushioning and explanation so that people reading it understand my intention is to help people who are trying to do video on their phones to not be misled by so-called experts who have not actually understood what they're talking about before speaking about it authoritatively. Because the last thing that I wanted to do was for my article trying to advise people against a bad idea to instead get out of it, nya 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 nya, you have a phone so you can't take video, you suck. Not what I was going for. And if you want to make a video on your phone, do it. <laughs> I'm shooting this on my first camcorder. You've probably noticed. I'll turn it off now. Have a nice day. It wasn't in that vitriolic internet way. Always turn off your notifications before you start a video. It bothers me when new people are misled by these supposed experts that say to shoot flat, shoot log on 8-bit cameras. Oh my god. I left a comment, I'm not going to read it all. That keeps happening. Where's the vibrate button?